Hey Network Admins, Jack Wallen here to help you get things done. With Grafana up and running, your next step is to add a data source. Let's find out how. If you've not added a new user to MySQL and granted the new user the necessary permissions to a database, let me show you how. Log into your MySQL database server and then gain access to the MySQL console with the command sudo mysql-u root p. From the console, create the new user with the command create user quote username quote at quote localhost quote identified by quote password quote semicolon where username is the name of the new user and password is a strong unique password for the user. If you're connecting to a remote server, make sure to replace localhost with the IP address of the Grafana server. Once you've created the user, you need to give it permission to access the database Grafana will monitor. For this, issue the command grant select on dbase.star to quote username quote at quote localhost quote semicolon, where dbase is the name of the database and user is the name of the user. If you're connecting to a remote server, make sure to replace localhost with the IP address of the Grafana server. Finally, Flush the privileges and exit from the console with the commands flush privileges semicolon exit. Log in to your Grafana instance and click the add data source box. Scroll down until you see the MySQL entry. Hover your cursor over that entry and click select. In the resulting window, you must fill out the details for the connection. The required entries are name, an identifier for the data source, host, the IP address and port of the MySQL database server. Database, the name of the database to be monitored. User, the user you created that has permissions for the database to be monitored. You can tweak the other configurations as necessary, but the items above are the only things required to be filled out. Once you've filled out the details, click Save and Test. This should successfully connect the MySQL data source and save the configuration. <laughs> If you want to see more how-to videos, subscribe to our How to Make Tech Work YouTube channel. Also, check out Tech Republic for the latest news in tech.